So our students were the key to the success of this project. We got $154 million in uh, solar PV bonds to San Diego. Our students did the critical uh, legwork, which meant uh, doing engineering research, doing solar research, figuring out what are the right numbers to put in the spreadsheets, and then generating easy applications that could be filed to the IRS. It's really exciting, actually. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great feeling to know that this has helped the area, not just uh, with the environment, but also jobs and, you know, boosting the solar economy and the industry in the area. So I'm really glad that we're finally getting the opportunity to boost that. I know a lot of graduates will be very excited to work in the field. Uh, hopefully this will help boost their opportunities. I, I think the biggest thing is using engineering and science in practice. And I think that's something that a lot of people miss is how to take the knowledge they learn in the classroom, which is really so versatile that you can use it in anything. And in this case, we used a lot of engineering knowledge of just kind of uh, like problem solving uh, as well as uh, some simple programming to kind of generate our, uh, our software that would calculate out the cost um, associated with installing the solar panels, as well as kind of an expected benefit of what these panels will put out in like 10, 15, 20 years and their payback cost. So solar energy is a very new field and many companies out there don't really know who to hire for these uh, jobs. And this project showed that really mechanical engineering students and environmental engineering students are the key resource for this job because these jobs acquire a whole breadth of knowledge in different disciplines and uh, mechanical and environmental engineering students do have that knowledge. So I teach many environmental courses, but I always have the challenge of uh, showing students how can we use this knowledge in practice. And so this project was a clear example of how it can be done very well. We discussed in class how to do these things and then two weeks later we were on the job actually using the knowledge and uh, filling out the applications uh, and that meant applying environmental knowledge and uh, doing environmental projects getting environmental money to San Diego that then will eventually make San Diego the solar capital of uh, the, the world and the nation. The big winners in this game was actually the San Diego Unified School District. They had uh, I think about 110 uh, sites that were approved in, uh, by the IRS, which they will now get funding for to build photovoltaic installations. And it's somewhat logic because they have the most students, much more so than, than UCSD, and so they have the most buildings, the most roofs, uh, and they got uh, the most funding from this. However, they also don't have trained students yet like UCSD to help them with the applications, so this was really the key partnership here between the school districts and UCSD, be bringing the brain power and the knowledge and they have the rooftops. 